This video covers creating basic portal frames within Aviva Everything 3D 2.1. From the Disciplines Options list, select Structures to display the Discipline specific tabs. Expand Model Explorer and locate the Grid World Reference underscore Grids. Expand the Grid World and drag and drop Reference Area 02 Workshop Grid into the 3D view. Click the View tab and from the Look button options, select the first isometric icon. Holding down the control key and the middle mouse button, pan the view and then zoom in to show grid plane WS.1. Click the Object Snaps Options button in the status bar to open the Object Snapping Settings form. Ensure that Node and Item Snaps are checked in the Elements tab and press the OK button. Click the Sections tab and note that the storage is set to Grid Storage and that the grid plane WS.1 is current. In the defaults group select British Standard Profiles from the Profile Specific Options list. Leave Universal Beam in the Generic Type Options list and select 254x146UB37 from the Profile Options list. Leave the justification at MA as the columns will be created first. And select S275JR Steel from the Material Options list. Expand the Site Site Structural Area 02 and make the Zone Workshop Building the current element. Select Repeat from the Straight Buttons Options list in the Create group. This displays the In View Prompt Start Point adjacent to the Crosshair Cursor. Snap to the node at the intersection of grid planes WS.1 and WS.A at elevation 300mm. After snapping, the prompt changes to End Point. Moving the cursor displays a ghost of the profile. Snap to the same grid plane intersection at elevation 4000mm. When the endpoint has been specified, the command is repeated. Snap to the intersection of grid planes WS.1 and WS.C at elevation 300mm. When the endpoint prompt is displayed, press the down arrow key to display the in command prompts. Select A from the beta angle and enter 90. This will change the beta angle of the section being created. Snap to the same point at elevation 4000mm. For the sloping beam, the justification needs to be changed to C-top. The start point for the sloping beam is the same point as the second column end. Note that the snap is still node, i.e. the grid lines, but the column is highlighted, meaning that the automatic connection will be made. When the end point prompt is displayed, modify the beta angle to zero, and then snap to the intersection of WS.1 and WS.B at elevation 5000mm. Press the escape key to end the command. Left click the sloping beam to make it the current element, right click to display the Aviva power wheel and select the context menu. Select mirror from the context menu. And then select two grid intersections on grid WS.B. The mirrored roof beam needs to be connected to the column, click the connect button in the connections group. Select the column and then the end of the beam to be connected. The beta angle of the first column needs to be modified. Selecting the column displays certain attributes in the properties grid. Expand the positional heading and modify the beta angle. Note that the roof beams remain connected to the column. This is called dynamic connectivity. Zoom into the apex of the two roof beams and click the mitre button in the modify group. Select the end of one roof beam and then the other to mitre them. Zoom to the extents of the draw list. Use the selection fence to select the four created sections. Right click on one of the selected members to display the Aviva power wheel and select copy and paste from the context menu. Snap to the base of the column, move the cursor and note the ghost of the selected sections. Snap to the equivalent point of the grid axes WS.2, WS.3 and WS.4. Press the escape key to finish the command. Make the structure the current element in the model explorer. In the properties grid, expand geometry and note that the structure's grid reference attribute is set to ref grid. In the model explorer, note that the four frameworks have been created, one for each grid axis. In the properties grid, note that each framework's grid reference attributes is set to the appropriate grid plane. Select Extents from the Zoom button options list. 
The frameworks are not auto-named when created during the copy. With one of the frameworks as the CE, select the Tools tab and select CE only from the auto name button options list, and repeat the process for the remaining two frameworks. To finish the basic portal frames, the columns need to be extended to the top flange of the sloping roof beams. Zoom in and double click a column to display the modification grips. Zoom to extents and then, holding down the control key, select the other seven columns. Note that the selected columns are highlighted and have grips. Left clicking a stretch grip on top of one column highlights the stretch grips on top of all selected columns. These are called linked grips and they are coplanar. Note that moving the cursor stretches all eight columns. Zoom in to the top of one column and snap to the start of the adjacent sloping roof beam to stretch the column. Zoom the extents and verify that all columns have been stretched.